Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com doing a case of 2017 Bowman's Best Baseball. Eight box, pick your team, number five from jazbeeshobbyland.com. This just dropped yesterday. We're already on case five. Case, I think six and seven are already in the store right now, jazbeeshobbyland.com, and they're selling out. I think all of them are almost close to single digits. So get into it. Love this baseball. Let's keep it going. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action right here on a Thursday. Kevin O with that last spot mojo star. There's everyone else. Thank you very much, everyone, for getting in. Really love uh, this set, folks. If you liked it last year, you're going to like it even more this year. Good luck, folks. Four autographs per box. Two per mini box. Team Pro, uh, no. We will not have any random teams for Bowman's Best. We'll have plenty of Pick Your Teams, though. At the rate at which the Pick Your Teams are selling, I don't think we'll need, I don't think we'll need random teams. Good luck, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. We've got plenty more on jazbeeshobbyland.com, so please keep going, keep checking it out. Really appreciate it. A lot of great parallels, a lot of great on-card autos. Uh, the case hits are cool. There's usually like one vet auto that's around. So that's a lot of fun. A lot of big hit potential in here, ladies and gentlemen. And all of the sort of the top picks of 2017 are in here. fun inserts too. Good luck everyone. These mirror image cards will randomize left and right. Are they really comparing Clayton Kershaw and Brandon McKay? It's pretty crazy. All right. We'll randomize these left and right. There are one per case atomic refractor versions of it that will, uh, wow. Hi Chris Bryant. I'll explain it when we get there. Chris Bryant, Cubs, EA Sports to the game. Don't worry about it, Boston. I know what I'm doing. You worry about this. You worry about the Chris Bryant autograph that I just pulled. A lot of cool inserts. And there's Paul Goldschmidt to 250. 117 out of 250 for Arthur and the Diamondbacks. All right. This is just box one, Gabriel. Chris Bryant was your first autograph, believe it or not. Cole Reagans for the Rangers. That's correct, Boston. Uh, there is usually one vet auto or like second year player auto per case. That might that might have been it right there. I'm sure that's probably it. Rangers. That'll go for that'll go to Dino. More mirror image stuff. There's Bryce Harper to 150. That goes to Carlos, Mr. LT, and the Nationals. Pulled a nice orange Bryce Harper last night as well. And Jake Berger. Jerry with the White Sox. 
Nice one, Jerry. Sean Duca. Really like the design this year. There's Adam Hazley for the Phillies. Last spot mojo, Kevin Oliveira. There's Chris Bryant again. Nice. Good start. These burgers are hot. That is a tasty burger. That's right, Nino. Jake Berger, Taco Charlton should go into a restaurant business together. You know who else? Dwayne Bacon. You know who else? Socrates Brito. Those guys all should get together, go into a restaurant. Is Socrates Brito still on the Diamondbacks? Is he still there? I guess you can get, uh, I guess you can get, uh, oh, nice, Boston. Steph Curry. Get that in there. Maybe Jake Lamb could get into the mix. I guess we're just naming, like, you know, I guess we just end up naming animals at this point. There he is. Hi, Jake Lamb. Delicious, delicious lamb. Luke Powell, right. All right, next box. Paul Goldschmidt, there's Aaron Judge. And our autograph is Drew Ellis for the Diamondbacks. Arthur has hit like five, five, uh, five breaks in a row. Diamondbacks case, man, great job, great job, Bowman. So many Diamondbacks. Nice Aaron Judge too. Nice Cody Bellinger raking rookies. And Francisco Mejia. That's a big one. We haven't seen him yet. Daniel Anderson with the Indians. Nice. That is that is strong. Fifty game hit streak? I think that kid is supposed to be the real deal. Haven Smith, <laughs> it is a Diamondbacks case. Haven Smith for Arthur. I know, right, Rick? This is not good. <laughs> Rick's like, you're using up all of Arthur's 2018 hits right now. I gotta spread it out over the year, right? <laughs> There's Evan White for the Mariners. That'll go to Alexander Lam, or Lam. Evan White autograph. Nice one there. There you go. And next box. All right, good luck everyone. What am 
am I blanking on? Uh, what position does Mejia play? I think he's a catcher, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's a catcher. How close is he to the uh, to the majors? I know catcher. The catching position is a bit of an issue for the Indians. I feel like, I feel like that guy will anchor their catching position for years to come. Yeah, he is a catcher, right, Gabe? Saying yeah. I did not check any baseball news today, folks. Is there any big baseball news happening today? While I'm opening these packs. We'll open up MLBTradeRumors.com. Uh, Nationals re-sign Brandon Kinsler. Oh, this year for Mejia, huh? All right. Nice. I think that's it. Hey, all the news from yesterday. Nicasio, Matt Adams, Longo. Indians signing Yonder Alonso. Brewer signing Yulis Chassin. Officially signing Gallardo as well. I, th that's, I think that's about it. I don't know if there's anything... I guess the Orioles have have said they're that they're not going to trade Manny Machado. I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure what the Orioles are going to do. Are doing. There's Kevin Merrill for the A's and TJ. Nice one, TJ. I think TJ is looking for an Austin Beck though specifically. Nice Aaron Judge. This guy. Wow, Clint Frazier. Nice monochrome Clint Frazier for the Yankees. Mr. LT. Seventy out of one twenty five. Nice Clint Frazier. Vikings Triple Five asking, where do you guys think Darvish is going to go? I, that seems to be the big question so far this offseason. One of the big questions. There's Mitch Keller for the Pirates. That goes to Michael Gallucci. TJ thinks Cardinals or stays with the Dodgers. I feel like the like I feel like a team like the Twins could use a U Darvish, but I don't know if they're going to pony up the money for that. For you, Darvish. I don't know if the Rangers. I think the Rangers want Darvish back, but I don't know if they're going to pony up the money. I don't. I don't think the Cubs are going to pony up the money. The Dodgers? I mean, you think they are? Ronald Acuna. That'll go to the Braves. Darren McKenzie. It's a big reason for the uh, salary dump of Matt Kemp. So they want to put this guy in the outfield. Eloy Jimenez, out of 250 as a White Sox. That goes to Jerry P. I think the Dodgers could squeeze him into their payroll without going over the luxury. There's Christopher Cisse. That'll be for the Rangers. Nino with the Rangers. Yeah, Vikings saying, "Hey, I hope that I hope that the Twins make a run on him, but it seems like they're never spending the money, you know." I feel like I feel like the Twins have been gun shy ever since uh, since Joe Maurer. Arthur, Arthur's here. Did he go five for five with his diamond bags? Yeah, you're you're batting a thousand, Arthur. There's Paven Smith. There's Drew Ellis, and then you got a Goldie parallel out of two fifty. Arthur's batting a thousand in Bowman's best.
Rick saying his inside source says the Reds are not going to be going for you, Darvish. Now, I don't think the Reds are ready for a big free agent, free agent uh, spending right there. Hey, you're welcome, Arthur. <laughs> yeah, Jeff throwing shade. Jeff Slam Jam is just like that's why that's why the Twins can't beat the Yankees because they never spent the money. They should though. They got a beautiful new stadium. Twins. I don't. I don't consider. I don't really consider the Twins a small market team. You know, I feel like they could spend the money. I feel like they could spend the money, right? We got D.L. Hall. D.L. Hall for the O's. That'll go to Jesse. Yeah, we were at, 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 we were talking about it earlier. Where does J.D. Martinez go? Where does Hosmer go? What about this guy? Where does this guy go? No, the Orioles said they're not going to trade him, actually. They, they actually said that. There's Tanner Hawk for the Red Sox. Joe Robinson. Yeah, JD to the Red Sox would make sense. Yeah, it looks like, like you, like you were saying, Boston Graphs, looks, like, uh, looks like they're out of the running for Hosmer. Oh, here's the one per case mirror image. So we're going to randomize these to the Royals or the Diamondbacks on this one. And these ones are just the standard left to right randomizer, left and right randomizer. So Cody Bellinger, rookie card, and Kyle Wright. Nice Kyle Wright for the Braves. D-Mac, it's the, I think the fifth overall pick in 2017. Yeah, I don't know if I the I feel like yeah, TJ's like as a as a pitcher, is that karma? You know, being named DL, you don't want that. He needs to change his name to whatever the D or the L stands for. He just go by that. And Blake Rutherford, sixty two out of ninety nine for the New York Yankees. Now I could see actually I could see Hosmer going to the Padres. No, the Red Sox definitely need hitting. They've got the pitching. Uh, they they need homers. They're they're just not hitting dingers. Their home runs, especially in this day and age, where home runs are are increasingly more important. They need home run hitters. They they could use, they could actually really use a JD Martinez. Actually, that makes the most sense. Nice Braves hit. Are they the worst in the league in homers? Yeah, Tyler Perez. You had a pretty good Yankees break in that case. You should watch the second video too. I thought I thought like the Cardinals or the or the Giants were the worst in homers. But uh, yeah, no, I know that the Red Sox are like in the bottom. They they gotta they gotta have they gotta have uh, HRs they gotta have home runs in that lineup. They've got a good they they can all hit. They're all good hitters, you know. But they just gotta have they gotta have pop. That's just the way the league is going, you know. Just like how the NBA, you know, is more about small lineups and three pointers and whatnot. About launch angles, exit velocities, home runs in baseball these days.
Yeah, the Potters are quietly becoming better, too. If Potters get Hosmer, it's not a bad team. Jeter Downs for the Reds. Ooh, Adam Duvall with the Red Sox. Speaking of the Reds, Joe Robinson has the Reds. He'll get this one. Adam Duvall with the Red Sox. Could be interesting. You know, that might happen. He might not be their first choice, but that might actually happen. There's Dane Dunning for Jerry and the White Sox. Dun, 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 dun. I did not see that. Dodgers got Pat Vendit. Why does that name sound familiar? There's Gliber Torres. Wow, oh, Yankees doing great in this break. 25 out of 50. It's another one for Mr. LT. Had the Clint Frazier case hit earlier. Oh, the switch pitcher. That's right. That seems like such a Dodgers y move. They're just like, yeah, you know what? There's Robinson Cano to 99. They're like, yeah. I mean, with with the Dodgers' love for depth and versatility, that seems like such a classic Dodger. And I'll bet the Dodgers will get the most out of that guy, too. They'll know exactly how to use him. Alexander Lum. And another Francisco Mejia. That is strong. When it rains, it pours, Daniel. Nice. And Akuna again at a 250. I can see the Dodgers being like, it's like we got two pitchers for one. They are able to find those like, to find those gems though. That's what, they're, that's what that front office is really good at. In, uh, I have a question for you, everybody. In our lifetime, will we see a two-way player who could switch hit and switch pitch in our lifetime? Lefty-righty pitcher, lefty-righty hitter, and a legitimate two-way player can pitch and play the field. Will that happen in our lifetime? And, and, and is a major league starter. Maybe not great. You know, maybe one, one and a half war. But starts. I don't know. I say... I say yes. I feel like it's coming. It's inevitable. <laughs> our Michael says no. Not in our entire life. Not. I say yes. That's what I say. I think we're going to see it. Ball players are getting bigger, stronger, faster every year, exponentially. There's Clint Frazier again. Yeah, there could be robots. Gabriel says no. Better luck finding Tupac. It's just vacationing in the Caribbean. We all know that. Anthony Rizzo out of 150. Speaking of robots, um, if a uh, can can a a pitcher like if Anthony Rizzo got a bionic arm, is that okay? 
Is that allowed? Does that give him a competitive advantage? Shane Boz for the Pirates. That goes to Michael Gallucci. The Boz. 13 out of 99 on that one. There's Jake Land at 250 for Arthur. Nate Pearson for the Blue Jays. First Blue Jay for Hub City for one. Oh, nice red Clayton Kershaw. Five out of ten. So if Clayton Kershaw got a bionic back, he's got a bad back sometimes. Is that allowed? In Major League Baseball? Clayton Kershaw got a cyborg left arm. Is that still allowed? I don't know. Wow, another Diamondback for Arthur, John Duplantier. Or Duplantier. I have no idea. We'll wait till he makes it, makes it to the majors. Then I'll learn his name. There you go. Nice one, Arthur. Three different Diamondbacks. Anthony Rizzo, 24 out of 50. I guess Roy, uh, Gabe's asking if roids are allowed. No, but people still use them, right? All right, two boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. There he is right there, Nate Pearson. boxes last eight autographs so plenty of autographs to go so if you don't have anything yet there's still time there's still time That's, well, that's exactly what I'm getting to, Ryan Ruff. Will artificial intelligent robots uh, be able to play sports with humans in the future? Matt Sig Sauer for the Yankees, going to Mr. LT. I would probably say full-on robots, no. I think, I think they're going to say no to that. But I think... Philosophically, I think maybe a cyborg, that might be a little more complicated. Half man, half robot. There's Miggy to 250. Half man, half robot. Like, what do you do there? If Miguel Cabrera, you know, gets a cyborg hip 
you know, preserve his legs. Another Ronald Acuna for the Braves. D-Mac. Nice. You got the, the right and the Acuna, a couple of them. There's Kristen Stewart, the ball player, not the vampire. And there's Eloy Jimenez. 37 out of 75. He gets an A-plus grade, according to Baseball America. Yeah, he was one of the big prospects moved in that big deal with the Quintana. So White Sox are quietly building a really nice young core as well. They might be one of the surprise teams of the season, I think. Rafael Devers at a 150. That'll be for the Red Sox, of course. That'll be for Joe Robinson. There you go. He's got one last bit to go. Lewis Brinson, that's a nice one. Nice Lewis Brinson for the Brew Crew. Brewers, that'll go to Greg. And Jose Berrios. 29. At, there's some pitching for the Twins. That'll go to EA Sports in the game. Nice. Michael G. Michael G saying, ah, they call you G5K. Half man, half machine, all, all legend, apparently. <laughs> I would take robot umpires, though, R. Michael. For balls and strikes, yeah. At this point, yes. Everyone complains about it. Ball, strike, strike zone this, strike zone that. Like, I'm okay with like the, the umpire and the earpiece at home plate announcing the balls and strikes. That's fine. I'm okay with that. You know? But I think it's I think it's gonna happen. People say it takes a bit of the humanity out of the game, but but when when you have when you have like the when you see those boxes on TV right there, and you see exactly where the pitches are going, and everyone thinks that they're an umpire now, and they're 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 complaining about balls and strikes and all that sort of stuff, it's getting there. So let's just do it. I feel like if technology can can improve to where you can adjust to heights, you know, I think that would be great. I think if maybe there was, you know, some uh, some element of where they could maybe try to stretch zones or narrow zones depending on game flow i don't know some, something like that if they could make it more natural that'd be kind of cool but i'm okay with just a straight up just a straight up strike zone that's dictated by robots i was against it for a long time for a long time i was just like ah you know no robots in the game i was anti-robot i was discriminating against robots i was like no no way no robots. Get them out of here. But now, over the years, I've slowly changed my position. I'm just like, you know what? I don't want to waste my time arguing about balls and strikes. You know, let's let's watch the game. Let's play the game. All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Our first autograph, first of four out of the last box, Dane Dunning for the White Sox. That'll be for Jerry. Robot Bat Boys. I mean, yeah, but then you get the slippery slope argument, right? You're like, well, robot, 
calling balls and strikes, and what about robots? Why not just have them call everything? Gabriel says the only robot he cares about is the one that will bring you beer from the fridge. That that'll be that'll be a day I look forward to in the future. Justice Sheffield, Mr. LT with the Yankees. Yankees having an awesome break. <laughs> robot fans at some at some point they'll just be robot fans. At some point it'll just be humans just watching robots. Robot everything. And then Skynet takes us over, and then we're, we're just enslaved by Terminators. Hopefully it doesn't go that far. I've seen the movies, it's scary. Tristan Lutz, that goes to the Brew Crew, Greg Dunaway with the Brewers. That's your third autograph. Your last autograph should be right here somewhere. And it's going to be Taylor Trammell for the Reds, Joe Robinson. Joe Robinson for the big red machine. There it is. And there you have it, folks. That is that. Nice Goldschmidt Atomic. That'll ship out. Only vet base doesn't ship out. All right, let's do some randomizers. Let's do some randomizers. All right. So let's get a couple blank lists going here. I need one, two, and three. So first of all, these cards right here will go will go just a standard left right. On this side here, we got Royals and Diamondbacks. That's the atomic. That's the one per case atomic mirror image card. And then we got to figure out who wins that transcendent spot. So let's alphabetize by first names. Carlos bought two spots. He has an entry. Colin does as well. Got to buy at least two. Darren bought three. He gets one entry. Dar uh, David Harrell. E A. Jerry got two. Joe Robinson got two. Michael got two, and Ryan got two. Wow, that's only nine. I think that's the lowest. That's the lowest I've seen. Cause maximum entries. Cause you have to buy at least two teams, right? One entry max per person per break. Max entries on a baseball rig is fifteen. Nine. That's incredible odds. All right, let's roll the dice for each list seven times for each list. Six and a one. Left and right first. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a one. Seven times. Stays with the right side. So all of the right side teams right here will get any of these mirror image cards. All right, this one, Royals Diamondbacks. Seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Flips to the Diamondbacks. Must be must be Arthur's week. So Arthur, you get this one per case mirror image. The atomic refractor. And last but not least, of course, is this right here. Six and a one, seven times for the transcendent baseball spot. One, two, Three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Name on top is Joe Robinson. Congrats, Joe. There you go. You got a spot in the uh, 171 spot transcendent baseball break on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Folks, we have more Bowman's Best on jazbeeshobbyland.com. There's the website right there. Check it out, and we'll see you next time. This is Joe. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.